The busiest holiday in the nation's capital is just two days away now, and thousands of people will be packing the National Mall, of course, to see those fireworks. I will be right along with them, <laughs> and that is where we find our 7 News reporter, Rebecca Turco. Rebecca, there's going to be no shortage of security and festivities. Yes, yeah, no shortage of security here. You can expect to see plenty of uniformed officers and getting on to the National Mall here. There's going to be several access points that you'll have to go through. Officials say it's all about getting people here as smoothly and of course as safely as possible. Preparations are underway ahead of the big 4th of July celebration on the National Mall. The reflecting pool is fenced off by where the fireworks are being launched. We are prepared for hundreds of thousands of people. And those people can't just walk onto the National Mall to watch. They'll have to go through security first at certain access points, five of them to choose from. We're told they'll be set up in the afternoon after the local parades wrap up. And we ensure those methods are used uh, to keep everyone safe. It's one of the biggest events for the National Park Service and U.S. Park Police, so you can expect to see plenty of uniformed officers monitoring the area. Sort of the old adage for a lot of people that have worked a lot of these 4th of July events is the 4th of July planning begins on July 5th. We're told they've got safety plans for everything, even if the weather acts up. If you're coming out, you'll want to give yourself extra time to make your way through security in the crowds. With all the road closures, public transportation is being pushed. Metro's general manager saying yesterday it's one of their busiest days. And with many looking to get off at Smithsonian, he recommends taking a different stop to help avoid bottlenecking. A little bit of pre-planning, a little bit of patience. We are going to move everyone through those stations and get home, everyone home safely. Of course, it's not just D.C. that'll be packed. Signs are already up along 110 in Arlington, reminding people you can't park there to watch the fireworks. So if you're watching from across the river or in the district, plan for crowds at the popular viewing spots and build in extra time, especially if you're headed to the mall. Our goal is always visitor experience. It's to make sure that people always enjoy their day and everything in their experience while they're out here. And so they're they're working very hard to get people through as quickly as they can. And something else to keep in mind if you're headed out here for the fourth, you are not allowed to bring any weapons, alcohol or large coolers. Reporting live on the National Mall, Rebecca Turco, 7 News.